Charles Angels is a 2000 American action comedy film directed by Mac G in its feature film directorial debut and written by Ryan Rob, Ed Solomon and John August. It is the first installment in the Charlie's Angels film series, a continuation of a television series of the same name credited by Ivan Goff and Ben Roberts. which is also a continuation of the series story unlike the original series which had dramatic elements the film features more comical elements and stars Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore and Lucy Liu as three women working in a private detective agency in Los Angeles John Forsythe reprised his role as the unseen charlie's voice from on the from the original series and bill murray also stars as john bosley replacing david dolley who played the role in the original series and it also stars jem rockwell tim curry and kelly lang while crispin glover matt lee blank luke wilson and tom green appear in supporting roles It was released on November 3rd in 2000 in the US by Sony Pictures releasing under its Columbia Pictures label and has crossed 264 million worldwide and the film received mixed reviews to positive reviews from critics with praise for the performance of Diaz, Barrymore, Liu and Murray. as well as its action sequences and humor but criticism aimed at the plot and lack of originality was there whereas if we talk about the storyline in which Natalie Kirk, Dylan Sanders and Alex Munro are the angels three talented tough attractive women who work as private investigators together for unseen millennial and charlie townsend charlie uses speakers in his offices to communicate with the angels and his assistant bosley works with them directly when needed charlie assigns the angels to find eric knox a software genius who created a revolutionary voice recognition system and heads his down company Knox Enterprises He is believed to have been kidnapped by Roger Corwin who runs a communications satellite company called Red Star The Angels infiltrate a party held by Corwin and spot a suspicious looking man that they had previously seen from surveillance videos of Knox kidnapping dubbing him the thin man and angels chase him down and fight him he gets away but the angels find knox safely held nearby after the angels reunite knox with his business partner vivian wood charlie explains that they must determine whether the thin man has stolen knox voice information software and the angels infiltrate red star headquarters fool the security system and plant a device in the central computer that will enable them to explore it remotely and they retire for the night after giving bosley the laptop computer that communicates with the red star computer and so on the dylan escapes and reunites with natalie and alex who also survived their attacks and they approach charlie's office just as the building explodes and they find a radio receiver that bosley is able to communicate to a via a tooth implanted radio transmitter in which uh, the bosley provides enough information of where he is captured to allow natalie to deduce its location and abandoned lighthouse with help from Dylan's boyfriend Chet the angels still the still the approach it and upon finding Knox Dylan is captured by henchmen and is tied up and gagged the angels are 
too late to stop Knox from determining Charlie's location, though they rescue Bosley while Dylan fights off her captors and they come together to defeat Vivian, the Thin Men and other assorted henchmen, but Knox blows up the lighthouse and flies off in an attack helicopter towards Charlie's house. And so the Bosley helps the angels board it where Alex reprograms the missile to have it shoot backwards, blowing up helicopter and killing Knox while the angels land safely. Seeing the opportunity to finally meet Charlie in person, they enter the nearby beach house that Knox had targeted, but he has already left and he remotely congratulates the angels on a job well done through another speaker and tweets them and boss Lee to a vacation. And so the Charlie also tells them to Knox fathers was an undercover double agent. He was discovered and killed by the enemy, but not by the Charlie. And with it, while seeing the opportunity with that, to finally meet Charlie in person, they enter the nearby beach house that Knox had targeted, but he has already left. He remotely congratulates the angels on a job well done through another speaker and treats them and boss Lee to a vacation. Charlie also tells them that Knox's father was undercover double agent and he was recovered and killed by the enemy but not the Charlie. Whereas when he speaks to the angel by a telephone on the beach, they ask if they could ever meet him in person and Dylan suspects she sees him nearby talking into a cell phone but does not tell the group opting to raise a toast to Charlie instead. With it, Bosley playfully doses the angels with his dark and they chase him towards the ocean. From afar, a silhouetted Charlie watches them and walks off. And if you talk about the production of the film, according 